In this video, we'll be talking about chronic myelogenous leukemia. It's an uncommon type of cancer of the bone marrow which affects the leukocytes and lead to immature leukocyte production. So the age of onset is late. The median age is 64 and age group of 45 to 85 years people can get affected by this. So there are several clinical symptoms. Some people might uh, present with fatigue, weight loss, abdominal fullness due to heterosplenomegaly. But most of the patients are undiagnosed or they are asymptotic. Sometimes they are incidentally undergoing blood test and this comes out. Okay, so it's a problem with the blood cell development. So let us try to understand the normal process of the blood cell generation. So there is hematopoietic pluripotent stem cell which give rise to myeloid and the lymphoid progenitors. Myeloid progenitors further give rise to RBCs, platelets, monocytes, granulocytes, etc. Whereas lymphoid progenitors give rise to T and the B lymphocytes. Anyway, the leukocytes which are basically myeloid progenitor derivative are abrogated in this particular disease. So normally the HSCs would eventually give rise to mature leukocytes such as basically mature blood cells like neutrophil, basophil, etc. But due to a genetic problem or chromosomal abnormality, if these HSC give rise to immature leukocyte, then thing turns into a CML. So basically the genetic culprit here is basically a kinase which is given, uh, which is encoded by the ABL gene. And this ABL kinase is overproduced in this case. And this is known as a Philadelphia translocation. So chromosome 9 and 22 is underlying the 95% of the cases of chronic uh, myelogenous leukemia. So key point that we understood so far is leukocyte maturation defect is the key pathology in this disease. So CML is associated with Philadelphia chromosome, which is basically a translocation between chromosome 9 and 22. Here you can see the ABL and BCR genes are in two separate chromosome, but due to translocation, they form a BCR ABL fusion gene. Generally, ABL kinase is produced in a balanced fashion, but when there is a gene fusion due to strong influence of these promoters, BCL, uh, BCR ABL produce a hell lot of ABL kinase. Now, ABL kinase as a key regulator of cell division lead to over proliferation of these immature granulocytes and the leukocytes that produce too many immature leukocytes in the blood and that's the underlying pathology of CML. So let me tell you that the uh, myeloid progenitor eventually produce myeloblast that forms immature basophil, immature eosinophil or immature neutrophil and they undergo maturation in a sequential phase. In this CML the maturation process is abrogated and they are stuck in an immature state and that's the key pathology. So there are so many immature cells in the blood which lead to a crowding effect. They take up the nutrition for the mature blood cell to thrive. Anyway, that lead to cytopenia, that means reduced overall blood cells, anemia, reduced RBCs, thrombopenia, reduced platelets and leukopenia, uh, that means reduced leukocytes. Anyway, there are several diagnoses which can tell us about the uh, presence of CML. Simple thing is basically doing a peripheral blood smear. One can look at uh, several immature uh, leukocyte and increased number of leukocyte in the blood smear which is pretty apparent from this particular image. Now, alongside this peripheral blood smear, there are PCR based diagnoses and this is based on the fact that BCR and ABL are now cl in close proximity. In normal case, they were far apart. Now they are in close proximity. So the junction between BCR and ABL can be PCR amplified and looked into a gel for the presence of band. If the band is present, they are positive for CML. If it is not there, then they are negative for CML. Anyway, the treatment for CML can be done or some responsive treatment can be found by the ABL kinase inhibitor. The key culprit is ABL kinase which is the key driver of uncontrolled proliferation and uncontrolled cell cycle. So ABL kinase can be inhibited by specific inhibitors such as imatinimib and this is a very effective treatment for CML. So I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.